too familiar trademark. Her left ear has been cut off. Agent Janet Escorts. Bobby, that's the number I gave you last night. Where is it? You can't lose with this connection. <laughs> Man, you know I don't do whores. We provide an escort service. You want something else that's between you and the girl? You ever seen this before? Yeah, it's Jody's. Yeah. Yeah, is she in jail? She's dead. Oh, sweet God. Look, just show me the lady's fine, and I'm on my way. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I hear you got a shrink, dude. Yeah, you must be nutter than me. <laughs> I am. Is that a standing up question? Or a lying down question? There's only one type in this office. Have you had any more of your blackouts? Look, I fall asleep, and sometimes I wake up in a different room. It's called sleepwalking. I know what sleepwalking is. What you mean is, have I beaten up anyone lately in a mad rage, right? <laughs> The answer is yes. Escaped at 9 p.m., Bobby. I gave him five hours to get to Jody. Van didn't pull out of the main gate till midnight. If I gave him less than an hour to get back to LA and grab Jody, there's no way. Something else. We found him in the park. There were 11 ears, each in their own little bag, tagged and made. None of them belonged to Joe. Henry left a sick old fan out there to carry on his good work. You got a light, buddy? Where is it? She had it in her hand, Bob. What's a person in a blackout capable of? Anything they feel strongly enough about when they're conscious.